Last Friday, activists protested outside Downing Street to campaign for trans and non-binary rights. We're here today because we're organising a trans rights protest due to the government's current failing towards trans and non-binary people in the UK. Essentially, we feel like we are at more risk than we have ever been before and we're concerned that's only going to get worse. So we're here to do something about it. The big thing that does need to be changed is the healthcare issue. Essentially, it needs to be completely reformed. There are ways to change that to reduce the waiting times, such as better funding. And we also could have GP-led healthcare, which makes things a lot easier and puts more control in local GPs to help out transgender people. There's also difficulties with legal recognition. We were promised a reform of the Gender Recognition Act, and that is something that simply hasn't been delivered. And even if that were to be improved, there's still no sign that there'll be legal recognition for non-binary people. A lot of people have had difficulty accessing healthcare due to the lockdown and that means the waiting lists for trans people have gotten even worse than they already were. People need to be more aware of their rights and things they can do to help others. There's a big issue with cisgender people, including cisgender people in the LGBTQ plus community, that turn up when there's a party such as a pride but don't turn up when people actually need things done and that's something that has to change. So currently, trans healthcare in the UK, uh, the waiting times are ridiculous, they are unfathomable, they are not acceptable. Um, we're currently looking at three to five years of waiting for a first appointment with the gender clinic, which is considerably more than the three months that the NHS guidelines say should be the maximum anyone's waiting. On top of that, there are currently infinitely long waiting lines for trans men to get surgery in the UK because there are no lower surgery surgeons for trans men at all in the country right now. Um, Translated waiting times for healthcare are getting worse and worse and the government does not seem to care that this is a problem. doesn't seem to think this is a problem. What we need is we need firm commitments from the government, and particularly from Liz Trust, that things are going to improve, that they're going to listen to the trans community on matters of trans importance. In terms of actionable things coming up, we need to make sure that the upcoming conversion therapy ban doesn't have any exceptions for any particular grounds, particularly with trans people and trans youth. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, trans people under 18 are given the benefit of the doubt of appeal and competency, that they are able to make their own medical uh, decisions if they are competent to do so. Generally, we just need trans people to be listened to on the things we keep telling the government. I think it's really important that today was called to bring people together to say that we're fed up of uh, the stalling on trans rights, but also we're fed up of having young LGBTQ plus homeless youth people facing discrimination in the workplace and living on poverty wages. Coming together and showing that we will be a force uh, to stand up to the Tory government is extremely important. So this might be just one step, but it's an important one.